in this video i explain about initial tension in the belt of belt drive systems so what is the meaning of initial word initial word means from the starting means if we not start the belt drive and on the belt it have some tension it is called as the initial tensions so in this video we understand what is initial tension why initial tension is provided with a, if we not provide initial tension then what happens and what is the equation of the initial tension force that we discuss in this video when belt is wound round on the two pulley means in this diagram you see this is driver pulley this is the driven pulley and from the two pulley the belt is wound in a round shape and when we pass the belt we need to join the end of the belt so nowadays the endless belt is also available means the specific length belt is already available just we need to fit it or the belt strip is also available so we can adjust the length of the belt according to the requirements okay so when we wound the belt and cut according to this requirement and we need to join the end of the belt so that the belt may be continuous move over the pulley means when we wound the belt joint it then the belt are able to move or a move over the pulley since the motion of the belt and the driven is governed by the friction grips due to frictions between the belt and the pulley so how the motion is transfer from the driver pulley to belt due to the frictions okay so first the driver pulley is runs by using the electric motors or ic engines so this motion of the driver pulley is supplied to the belt due to the frictions then after this belt is transfer motion to the driven pulley due to the friction so here between the belt and the driven pulley some frictions are there so in order to increase the grip means in order to increase the grip between the driver pulley and the belt increase the grip between the driven pulley and the belt belt is need to tight up at this stage even when the pulley are stationary the belt is subjected to some tension it is called as the initial tensions if we put the belt is in the loose conditions we know that the pulley is only rotated belt is not rotated so power is not transmit it for that reasons we need to tight up the belt and when we tight up the belt the belt have some initial tension so it is called as the initial tension in the belt when the driver pulley start rotating it pulls the belt from the one side so suppose this is driver pulley and it is rotated in a clockwise direction so it pulls the belt from here okay so this is called as the tight side and here increasing tension in the belt on this side so here the tension is increase and it's deliver to the other side means this side the belt is delivers and this side increase the tension in the belt on the side so it is called as the slack side the increased tension in the one side of the belt is called tension in the tight side so we already understand here here the belt is come towards the driven pulley so it is called as the tight side and here the tension is increased and this side the, the increased tension in other side of the belt it is called as the tension in the slack sides now we find out the equations for the initial tensions for that we understand few basic parameters t0 is called as the initial tension in the belt t1 is the tension in the tight side of the belt t2 is the tension in the slack side of the belt alpha is the coefficient of increase of the belt length per unit force means if we supply unit force on the belt its length is certain increase so it is denoted by as the coefficient of increase in the belt length and it is called as the alpha a little consideration will show that increase of tension in the tight side it's the t1 minus t0 so here already initial tension are there okay so t1 minus t0 and the increase in the length of the belt on the tight side so here in the tight sides what is the increase in the length so from this side the belt is pull so here the length of the belt is increase so here it is the alpha into t1 minus t0 this is our equation number 
similarly the increase in a tension in the slack side means on the other side the the increase in the tension okay and the slack side force is the t2 so it is t0 minus t2 means initial tension minus tension in the slack sides now what is the increase in the length of the belt on the slack side it is alpha in bracket t0 minus t2 so this is the equation number 2 now we assume that the belt material is perfectly elastic such that length of the belt remains constant when it is rest or in motion means we assume that the belt material is elastic means the length of the belt is remains constant when it is rest or in motion so when we are not run the belt drive at that time there is a no increase or decrease in the length of the belt therefore increase in the length on the tight side is equal to decrease in the length on the slack sides thus equating this equation 1 and 2 means on a tight side the length of the belt is increased 5 mm then length is decrease on the slack side is also 5 mm so we can write down that equation 1 is equal to equation 2 so alpha t1 minus t0 is equal to alpha in bracket t0 minus t2 this alpha alpha is cancel because its value is same then we supplied this minus t0 on the right side okay so it is 2 times t0 and here this minus t2 is supplied left side so it is t1 plus t2 and the 2 t0 so 2 of the 2 0 is supplied in a t1 plus t2 by 2 so we get this equation of the initial tension in the belt so equation of initial tension is the belt is the t1 plus t2 by 2 if we neglecting the centrifugal tensions now if we consider the centrifugal tensions then equation is this that the initial tension t0 is equal to t1 plus t2 plus 2 tc divided by 2 if we consider the centrifugal tensions so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or other subject of the mechanical engineering for bme subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist and also share this channel with your friends